Still Trey Day, nigga. AK, nigga. Here we go! The guy is drunk, but there he goes. With through the roof, we are high. We are Hey, let me start introducing all the people in the Supradi house. In the place to be, first grab in no particular order, just because he's behind me. He's your friend, he's my friend, he's everybody's friend. Trady Alde. He's your friend, he's my friend, he's everybody's friend. Did you bring Connor? He's your friend, he's my friend, he's everybody's friend. Yo, this is Andrew 38. your friend, he's my friend, he's everybody's friend. What's up, it's Katja. Your friend is my friend, he's everybody's friend. Hi, this is Sally. Your friend is my friend, he's everybody's friend. It's not this combat. Super obvious show. Super obvious show. Welcome to the, welcome to the, welcome to the show. Welcome to the, welcome to the, welcome to the show. Welcome to the, welcome to the, welcome to the show. Welcome to the motherfucking show. Oh, oh, oh. This is a Missy Elliott exclusive. Everybody got to dance this. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, are you dancing? Is that? Welcome to the show, JD all day here. And you know what it is when I switch up the intro, that means the Super Audio Sisters is here. Uh, two thirds of them got deported, so oh, we're shit. not gonna talk about that. <laughs> it's, it's legal matters. We got a lawyer, I am you are, on top of that. Uh-huh. But for now, we got the mm-hmm. lovely Lady Boo in the place to be. What's up? How you feeling, Lady Boo? Oh, I mean, cool with the song. <laughs> I, I finally picked a good one. Yep. <laughs> if you don't know, Erica and Lala is. is it, uh, I always pick a bad song for when the ladies are in. Always pick something dumb, like oh, some, yeah. some girl anthem. Like. So, what was the last one that you didn't like? I mean, Alicia Keys, this girl is on fire. Like, how old is that? <laughs> I like Alicia Keys, though. That's so old already. Nah, man, I have to listen to it. It sounds biased to me. Hey. <laughs> Am I the oldest Alicia one here? <laughs> Are you what? <laughs> Am I the oldest one here? <laughs> Well, that's my younger no, no, sister, no. so I know at least I'm not the youngest. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 35 this year. Oh, oh. no, oh. not at all. I'm 37. My sister's 30. Oh. I'm going to be, I'm 29, but I'm going to be 30 this year. Yeah, there I'm, you go. I'm 37, too. Cheers, everybody out there. Go Dre, go Dre. It's your B-Day. Yes. He likes my dance. Cheers. Uh... Yeah, so I thought the I thought the this girl is on fire was a nice song. Or how about the one before that? It's so cliche. What was before that? Oh, Lizzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cool, but I don't know. It's kind of strong. Like <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Thank, well, thank you for liking this song. I can appreciate that. I, I can appreciate this for everything it is. It's messy. It's recent. It's a hit. It's a jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then it gets you going, it gets you moving. Yes. Uh, and, and the place to be as well. Uh, sorry, I took so long. Uh, Lala, right. welcome to this place. This is Thank your first you time here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like she said, an awkward date. Like it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say you're nervous talking to the mic. Why are you so nervous yeah. talking to the mic? It's not nervous. It's just weird. It's just, I don't know. I've never weird. done it before. <laughs> but it's cool. You know, you've never yeah. talked to a mic before. Yeah. Like, you've never well. done karaoke. I hate doing karaoke. But you've done it. i done it, but I hate it. Ew. I mean, I need to be like really, really drunk to do it. Aww. There you go. But then I'm like, if I'm up there, I'm just going to be like. Most people like, just I, need I to be really, really That's the really best happy. time to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When you're really, really drunk and you're slurring your words, that's the best oh, time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's no, when you sound like, the best. A little bit before too. that. But. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit before that. And also in the place to be. We got the other half, the better half of our homie Jay. Uh, we got Erica in the place to be. How are you feeling, Erica? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> this is just awkward. You say, <laughs> you say you're nervous too. Why? Because you're talking to your phone. You're just staring at your phone, talking to it. Yeah, what pretty, exactly? Pretty much. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is back in my single days, like trying to hit up on 
like you know <laughs> Tinder, <laughs> shit like that. What exactly did they tell you to get you to come on the show today? Um, Dre just hit me up and asked, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I've been on quarantine for yeah. like, way too long. <laughs> yes. Why not? You're like other people, yes. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremy was getting pretty sick of me, like, every time he came home. I'm like, how many people did you see? How was the world? <laughs> how was everything? Did you take any pictures uh, today? <laughs> how's outside? Yeah. Is, is it still nice? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was funny because uh, she was playing Fortnite, and we were having our issues with Fortnite. Uh, me, uh, Tusk, and, uh, her, and, her, and, her, and her, her husband, uh, Jay. <laughs> and... Uh, she was like, yo, tell him, t hey, make sure you tell Jay that I got a whole bunch more kills than him. So then I called her over to uh -huh. come and play the game for us because we were oh. getting killed. <laughs> like, I'm going to go call your wife. To yeah, but I kills. froze. <laughs> like, I froze and under pressure. I'm like, I don't do well with tests. This is yeah, why. Yeah, Dre does know, that. He'll be like, Didn't go. finish college. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> How, you doing, Dre? Dre? How you doing the pressure, Lala? I don't do good under pressure. <laughs> she's she's like, I'm just oh. like, oh. she's about to walk out right now. Leave uh, her she's alone. Like, <laughs> she's like, uh, I don't like this pressure right now. Yeah, I'm like, too much attention for me. <laughs> so uh, what's been going on in the world? What you guys been up to? What do you Staying mean? home? What do you Staying mean? Home? Nothing, nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, what do you mean by the world? Do you mean like in our kitchen, in our living room? Well, <laughs> I mean, with the internet, the whole wide world's open to you. Ugh, who wants to see that? I guess. It's overrated. <laughs> I was actually... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did oh. It freeze? oh no! Oh no! Darn technology! See this? Is why I was like, hold on, hold on. Uh, she's coming through. Hey, but uh, what do you guys think of the SNL quarantine edition? SNL? Oh, is she calling back? No, it's it's, it's, it's go back. The signal's low. Or, oh, she's back. Oh yeah, sorry, I froze for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, can, you can, you can you repeat what you said? <laughs> Oh, um, Indiana's slowly reopening, so I was able to go um, back to the salon this week. I do hair. Oh, right oh. on. So I'm booked out till the middle of June already. Nice. Wow. Wow. Man, yeah. I wish I had hair for you to do. <laughs> <laughs> it, hey, it, we could just, like, give you a nice little, like, faux mullet type situation. <laughs> the, the Trump comb over? It's the easiest hairstyle. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Lord. No, it, it has been really hard to have things like, you know, your eyebrow place closed. Like, I can't, yeah, I can't seriously. do it. I, I like, can't. Look at my eyebrows. My old yeah, I had some ladies pushy. come back that look pretty haggard. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> not, that you, not that you ladies do. Hey. I'm just saying. That's hey, what my what, lady's going to say. What about the one lady that, that got out of jail, the one that has the rainbow hair? Takashi, oh. his, oh. his roots were like a foot long. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, for it uh, Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Well, don't they have some, he, like jail salons, though? Yeah, but he <laughs> wasn't getting in there because you could tell his roots were a foot long. It was like. Oh, that's it was funny. Maybe he down. liked them that way. He was like, I'm going to get yeah. style now. For real, he's like, I got to get rid well, of the rainbow hair. Yeah, male prisons don't have um, oh, I guess that's like right. colors. Yeah, <laughs> so Orange that's probably black. why. <laughs> that's I guess up. that's right. You guys walking around with pink hair, like I'm watching know. too much Orange is the New Black. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is the Orange New Black. Like, <laughs> I thought they had a full Let's salon. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Orange is the New Black is like definitely staple of it. So no, yeah. they probably liked him with the long hair in the prison. I'm just saying. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm jealous. I'm a little jealous. You guys are open already, but I just want everybody to be safe because uh, it's a crazy time, and I don't know what to believe. It's it's coming from all angles, and it seems like they're doing that on purpose to distract us from something else that's going on. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a little crazy. Like we have to wear masks. Our clients have to wear masks. Everybody has to wash their hands mm -hmm. and like sanitize and disinfect every little thing. Mm -hmm. um, we cannot have more than just our client in the shop. So mm -hmm. it's really put a lot of us, like, we've been, mm -hmm. think about it, like, about eight weeks worth of people to, like, rebook. Mm -hmm. I've already had a couple people get a little snappy with me, but I only have so much time in a day. Yeah, yeah. geez. Like, oh, you'd hope they'd understand. <laughs> they're like, uh, you know well, what? <laughs> I, I, I would do this. Like, you got to give them options. You're like, yo, I'll, I'll give you the 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. slot, but if I fuck up your hair because I'm tired, it's your fault. <laughs> exactly. Had, they've had time. Exactly. 
to learn how to cut their own hair and do okay. stuff on their own. Okay. <laughs> no. And not that easy. I mean, just for the so meantime, Jean, before you can, like, actually roar? go out. I don't know. My mom cut my hair, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> not everybody has their mom at home. I know that, but still. And my mom can't do eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're not done. <laughs> they're not she, done. I mean, yeah, not if you don't ask. What, maybe, my eyebrows? I'd like maybe to keep some can, eyebrows. So I, I don't want to take that risk. How do you know your mom doesn't know how to do eyebrows? Maybe, uh, she does. maybe she knows how to do no eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, like, if she gets some wax, just, like, go under just a little bit. <laughs> She's she already take the risk. Or even, like, put baby powder there to separate. It'd be all right. Ooh, baby powder. Okay. It tip. takes the sting out. Um, oh, shit. The dark came in. Uh... Oh. So yeah, let's let's just move on. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I remember now. No, 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 yeah. no. Uh, shout out to Preston Brewing, our sponsor. He brought through some Machata beers. Uh, I really love them. Uh, apparently, I was the hit last night because I drank a couple of them. And not not the big cans, the little cans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, was like, it was like two of these, like one yeah, of these. So sp- <laughs> yeah, specifically, oh but I was. It doesn't matter because I was drunk as fuck and I looked at the comics and people apparently really loved it. So okay. shout out to Preston Brewing. People love Dre drunk. <laughs> yeah, remember when he get slappy all the time? Anyway. Yeah, he did get slappy. That was no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's time for uh, Dre's tech update. Okay, well, let's try. Yo, man, let's see your place. Keep doing that shit, honey. Who's gonna help me rap? Who's gonna help me rap? I don't know how to rap. Somebody's gonna have to help me. The only thing I remember is Baby Got Back, so you got me out. <laughs> <laughs> we can start off with that. <laughs> this is Mike, and I approve this message. Trey with the tech on deck and the weir from my beer coming out my mouth and into your ear. Let me make it clear. Talking about the dopest beer from this year. Everybody cheer. Everybody say hey, hooray. Talking about Dre and his play and his toys that he does. <laughs> he buys every day. He needs to stop buying. He needs to stop buying. Oh my God, I can't stop buying oh, my, my mind. And gotta keep going to the end of the song. Somebody help me along. Damn, nobody did. Say no, you need a budget. I got that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. That's a, that's a I'm lot. too white for this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a loss. I'll take the L. I'll take the L. I don't I know. Got th- you got pretty far. I got pretty far, but the last two times before this, I got through the end uh, by myself. Just today, that beer. You did it. Shout out to Preston Boo. <laughs> awesome. Hey, right. for effort. It sucks. I need to come up with an actual intro. All right, we're going to do this. Okay, what are we listening to here? Is it coronavirus nor stories? Because I'm kind of tapped out on those. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> so, first up, uh, you know how oh. everybody here at AMC is uh, going out of business. They're losing a bunch of money. Oh, it's probably dance. Oh, oh, remix. <laughs> dance break, dance break. Get okay. Koala. Dance break, get koala. Dance break. All right, enough of that. <laughs> AMC uh, was going doing really bad. They were saying that when it, even when the qu- quarantine's over, that they weren't going to be able to come back. That they put too much invested, too much money in redoing their some properties. Yeah, we were just going back to the movies because of the reclining seats, because of the um, alcohol, <laughs> and because of the order. At, they had the order at your seat. Oh yeah, right? order at your, at your seat. Yeah, but I and, mean, and mostly had, the alcohol. And like. they even, they even with the, withstand Movie Pass. Movie Pass was a membership based uh, car where oh, you right. get to watch so many movies. And then AMC instead of joining the Movie Pass company they decided to create their own and it's, it, it still thrives to this day but not enough because they were going under but AMC stock went up because Amazon is talking about merging with it sounds shady oh, nice. it, makes a lot more, it. it makes a lot of sense it does but then uh, how much more can Amazon own how much more I mean Jeff up, Bezos but... like let's face it he's going to end up owning the world here shortly ridiculous um, yeah, I don't like this. Be- we all thought Trump was Lex Luger, but Bezos is going to be Lex Luger. Yeah, watch. he's been bald like that. Oh, yeah. I see the resemblance. <laughs> it's happening. Um, yeah, they're talking about Bezos because of the pandemic and his advantage in the market right now. He's going to be the first trillionaire. Get out. Yes. Didn't America at some I don't think point, that should be allowed. Right? Me Didn't neither. at some point America was like, no, 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 corporations are too big. We have to break up the monopolies. That is true. And now it's just like, hey, you can't be too big. You can't own too much. 
that is true until <laughs> the corporations started buying the politicians and paying for them and basically like kind of like how colleges are paying for kids and their tuition and everything the, huh? the uh, corporations bought these politicians throughout their career throughout their career yeah mm-hmm. and they, they even oh, give them a job when they leave they need to make laws that you can't work for this company when you leave okay well look all truth if they keep the alcohol i'm still gonna go to the movies <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Like, I'm just saying. Like, I don't want to, but I will. I think Studio Movie Grill is doing it well because they have... A, oh, yeah. They have, like, they're, like, in the middle where it's it's not super luxurious, but it's nice. Mm-hmm. And it's still affordable. I and mean, it's, it's affordable. still... Yeah, it's affordable. Like, it's a nice little place, Nook, where there's, like, a bunch mm-hmm. of little, like, businesses around. Like, it's pretty cool. They have there. a couple. Do you guys have any Studio Movie Grills in Indiana? Um, we do team. up in like uh, Carmel and in Indianapolis. So I've been to a couple. So I get the whole drinking thing because trust me, <laughs> when watch Bad Moms and just like drink a bottle of wine, it was amazing. It's I felt like I was a part best. of like something. <laughs> yes. It's like you actually get to enjoy a movie like you would at home, but with the theater experience. And exactly. And they have Starbucks too. So I mean, if you're not in the mood for drinking, yeah. there's always coffee. <laughs> yeah. Good well, coffee. if you're not in the mood for drinking, I want you to leave me. In the mood. <laughs> 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 like, bye. Oh, yeah. Move it on. She's no. like, no. So uh, apparently, IKEA is a do-it-yourself. Well, this lady was doing it herself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, don't masturbate. Oh my Lord! What? They had to literally Gusty. come up with a with a with a post and a video saying, "Please do not masturbate in our <laughs> stores." After this lady was caught <laughs> on. I don't know if she got caught in store or if they found the video later, but she was going viral. But she's it's in China, Whoa. in IKEA in China. Mm. It doesn't and this is how COVID me, got like, spread, right? <laughs> <laughs> IKEA, <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> now, why did they feel the need to come up with the video and this whole like so much media exposure after one time? This, this tells me that this is an like, ongoing problem. <laughs> maybe they've had other cases. Well, this lady has done it in other places, oh. but I'm not sure if there are other Ikeas. Oh, she's a serial masturbator. Yeah. Okay, she, well, it sounds, like, <laughs> it sounds like the problem is with this lady. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but does that make you think when she you buy something from a store? Right. Huh? Like, it might, let you think if you might buy something from a store, it might be um, soiled or... I, you know what? I guess at this point, we just got to assume everything is soiled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just disinfect that dresser because, yep. you know, everything. it probably turned around a little too much. Right. Just wash new clothes in hot water. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, yeah. The world's been turned upside down, kind of. We and just need to sanitize everything now. And what if, yeah. what if somebody would have walked up on her like she's just making this video and somebody walks up and be like, what the fuck it's is going on? Like a, a it might have. For her, yeah, it like, might have happened. She's like, she's like, oh, man, what if I get caught? Like. Oh, Lala, you know too much about that, this. Uh, <laughs> no, that might be what turns her on. I live with guys. Yeah. guys. I live with guys. Like, yeah. oh god. <laughs> like, I thought they made uh, meatballs like, here. I didn't know they made no... fish tacos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. uh, oh, sorry. Oh lord. Wrong crowd. Move up. Okay, is there more to the story? <laughs> if there is, I didn't read it enough because I got bored after a while. Uh, I'll bring you this to this show because I absolutely love it. I said this yesterday. And there goes Hannah, and she's gonna be stuck over there. Uh, okay. Tony Hawk's was a dope game back in the days. I don't know if you guys remember Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for the mm-hmm. PlayStation. It yes. came out. It was super dope. Me and my homie Albert, we got high when my parents took off for the weekend and played this the whole weekend. That one, that one level on the demo. The one level. It was just one level. <laughs> yeah. You get to pick two guys. And now they're remastering it for. Uh, they're remastering it for uh, Xbox One and PlayStation Four. Cool. Did you guys ever get to play this one? <laughs> nice. No. I no. actually did. There you go. And would you? Uh, did you like it? Um, it was all right. Like, <laughs> I was. I'm. You know, old school Mario Brothers <laughs> and like <laughs> Duck Hunter. <laughs> so, like, you need a skateboard to play this game. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a, that's a, that, uh, for me personally. It was the opposite. Like, I couldn't skateboard, and to play this game, I actually felt like I like I could skateboard. Wait, but were you playing, or what was the game that we had where we had the actual controller with skateboard? Was oh, that the yeah. Wii? Tony Hawk's Ride. Mm. Oh, Yeah, you, okay. you ride on an actual skateboard and you pop it up and move it around. Yeah, I can't do that. That's oh, actual. That's 
actual physical it movements. Fun. <laughs> it does sound fun. It's it sounds fun until someone like breaks their head. Yeah, <laughs> like, you try to ollie and break your nose in your living room uh, <laughs> on a skateboard with no wheels. No. <laughs> I mean, it makes for a cool story, like <laughs> in a way. <laughs> to your one friend. <laughs> it's fun to break <laughs> yeah. your hand. Yeah. So you gonna get this or what? I, w- I that's why that's what I told the guys yesterday is I really want to get this, but if it's gonna be a normal price for like a new game, like 40, 50, 60 bucks, no, it mm-hmm. has to be like cheap. Because I'm yeah. not paying full price for just to re- be remastered. I mean, it might look pretty, but yeah. Yeah, it's you know, the same I'm not game. into looks. I like personality. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's grown on the inside, too. You guys remember Muppets? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No, no man. Man, I've been dealing with you for three motherfucking months. You ain't hit the pipe in front of me yet. <laughs> so what you saying, man? Thank you, 5-0. 5-0. Man, I ain't no motherfucking car. Well, hit this motherfucker. 187 on the end of Kevin Cobb. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they look like they're having fun. <laughs> Tonight's the night I get in some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to homie Henry. So me this video. I guess that's more than a game. But I feel for the nigga who think he just gon' come and change things with the swiftness. So get it right with the quickness and let me handle my business, yo. I'm on a mission and my mission won't stop until I get the nigga maxing at the top. I hope you get his ass for he drop. King Ben kicking back while the sparkers. Never gonna look at these guys the same again. No way. No way. <laughs> he called that guy a fat rat. <laughs> Fozzie asking for a dope sack. I don't know. <laughs> you know, Fozzie's probably smoking a little something. Their faces are just. I know. <laughs> they look so menacing somehow now. <laughs> oh, oh my god, so much swag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like this would be messed up if you were tripping on acid even more. Right. <laughs> It's so dope because it's, it seems like it goes with it so perfectly. Yeah, it, I really mean, it's Yo, genius. I got the tonight's the night like Betty Wright, and I'm chilling, killing, spilling, no remorse, yeah. So let's go straight to and the, the car, car too. Song. It's so fitting <laughs> that happened. It, it, it's, it's, it's really amazing. And I like how they kept it up with the Kermit the Frog and the Fozzie Bear, like the two characters. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. They didn't just go to random people. Ride. I love it. <laughs> Nice. People Good ha- job. People have too much time. Yep. Oh, well, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> locked down, quarantine, stay on home mean, order, whatever. This like. was probably made 10 years ago, yeah. but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think when I first saw, saw the first Songify, I was like... July 2012. 2012. <laughs> this I was, was through the recession. Oh, that was the peak of the internet. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know when the peak was. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, boom. The peak was my space. That's true, I guess. Oh, oh, if you were in a fight, uh, would you want me to jump in? If I was in a fight, yeah. Um, I don't know. You're getting I jumped by two chicks. Bad. Oh, if I, if it was two against one, yeah, somebody's gotta, in? yeah. <laughs> one on one is fair. Yeah, no. Two's not. <laughs> oh, like that. You better come in like that. <laughs> Look at her, look at her. She just gets up and she's just like, I'm a fuck. She's like, I'm gonna get my first. Fuck. What the hell? Jeez. <laughs> what, is that? what is that? That's so funny. <laughs> I don't fuck around. I like how he still had his mask on. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> security guard gonna do that. <laughs> Look at that key. You want me to come in like that? Yes. Ah! It's better. I mean, if you're gonna make an entrance, you but better I mean, make like, a good it one. It seems like he knows her. 
Because then he's like, let's just go. So she follows him, and it's just like, wait. Wait, no. No, not the, one, not no. the one that kicks. Not no. the one that kicks. Uh, no. That would be really funny. <laughs> he kicked the wrong person. <laughs> Have you guys ever been in fights? Um, not since, like, grade school. Not nothing serious. I've never been in a fight. Uh, so I may have gotten one my senior year of high school and arrested. Oh, man, oh, shoot. arrested. Tell us about that story. Um, so I was trying to defend a friend, and I was always the girl that, like, would fight my friend's battles if they run their mouth. That was probably my fault. Uh -oh. um, and this girl's, like, who apparently was, like, this big bad, like, no one ever wanted to mess with her, um, came up to me and started running her mouth. Well, I grew up with an older brother, so it was just, like, you either fight or you die type oh, wow. situation. <laughs> and she threw a pop in my face and I just started swinging. Uh -uh. God damn. And like, she was, for this girl that was supposed to be like this Billy Badass or whatever, she was like pulling my hair and I'm like, no, um, my dad <laughs> you know, taught me how to throw a punch. I'm going to beat your ass so there's no tomorrow. Holding your hair I just is a remember, way for me like, to hold your head. <laughs> it being insane. Oh, man, and I just kept thinking, I hope they don't put cuffs on me because that would be embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> So who called the cops? Why could they just let um, it play The school, because it actually oh, happened during okay. lunch. <laughs> like, and why? I accidentally why elbowed the, the football coach when he pulled me off of her. The football coach. <laughs> Did you guys get yeah. a lesson afterwards? You guys have to apologize or like make amends or something stupid? Uh, no, she she got expelled because that was like her umpteenth fight. Oh, good. I got suspended and just. Arrested technically on paper, but released to my mom. Uh -huh. And I just think, I thought at that time, I'm like, oh, God, I just, release me to my mom. She doesn't know I smoke and I have cigarettes in my car. Oh. <laughs> like, that was my concern at that yeah, point. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> of have, all the things. Have you guys ever gotten expelled? No. No. No, no. We were good kids, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I never, no, that was a, that's a good thing. I'm not super yeah. proud of it. I'm just saying that. I got expelled. I never got caught. During high school. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I got I, I kicked out of Downey Unified School District for biting a chick. Whoa, for biting, yeah. I, I mean, mean, that would oh, happen. Well. <laughs> I socked a guy once in elementary school because he was trying to, I don't know. I don't remember what it started, but I know he was trying to take my backpack away. And I was like, let go. And then all I know is just I punched him. Some people came there like, oh, this teacher's coming. And we just all just scattered. Oh, my God. <laughs> he never bugged me again. So oh, my like, God. Did you get your backpack back? girl hit a boy. Yeah, well, I had it on me. He was yeah. trying to take it away. And I was just like, dude, let's no, go. No, look, the hey, common hey, theme hey. here is uh, self-defense. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Hey, bro, right. uh, but look, look uh, Lala's right because she tells her, let's go watch at the end. Man, who the fuck around? Yes, well, she doesn't run away or anything. Watch. Just... Now I'm starting to get this video's fake. Oh, I guess that's right. Watch, Come on. watch. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need a ride. Yeah. What'd she say? Use... Some shit. Oh, know. okay. Well, then maybe that was his girl and he was like, like trying. Just go. Let's go now. Like, stop. Who the fuck okay. around? Yeah, like. Um, well, he like straight up kicked her in her ovaries. So yeah, for real, she's not trying to have babies with her. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, so like, imagine like you, Dre, was fighting with somebody and it was stupid, and then I had to break it up. I want to go kick you first and be like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I will beat you up and be like, what the fuck you doing? Let's go. Yeah, fuck you. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I get it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break before we take a break. Uh, check this out. Uh, make a million people are pretending to be ants on Facebook. Oh, I heard this. This is really weird. Explain. So, <laughs> um, somebody yeah. created a fan page that's basically this is uh, an ant page. You're an ant. Uh, we all work for the queen. We all service the queen. <laughs> so basically, somebody pretends to be the queen, I guess, and everybody has to service them. Bobby so, Hill here. For example, somebody <laughs> will uh, post a picture of uh, some cake or ice cream with ants on it and be like, "Yum nom, this take this to the queen." And then everybody will post their own comment like nom nom to the queen nom nom. To I the feel queen. like this is like a King of the Hill parody when um, Bobby Hill he he whips in the fer the form the pheromones. Yeah, the pheromones of the queen ant, mm -hmm. and like he he's basically a slave now. He goes and brings him food, and he's like must to the ants eat with the queen must protect the queen, and he like he does oh. everything possible to protect. Yep. I feel like that's what it is. It's possible, but <laughs> what I yeah. <laughs> But okay, so you're you're gonna, you know, base it off of par base it yeah. off of parody. Yeah. But 
how like experts are these guys on ants to be able to pretend to know what a ant is thinking when it's <laughs> on no. survey <laughs> no no no, no. It's, it's like this basic rules of follow like everything yeah. we do here is to service the hive and the, and, the, and the queen so people will post pictures of pitch somebody just think of like oh well let me post a picture of ice cream and they're like take this to the queen so everybody's just started saying nom scrunch to the queen and millions of people basically and no one's saying like brr is cold up here <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> no. somebody, yeah. and then another rule is no politics talk at all no okay. human talk at all you can't talk about humans well, it, i mean they're serving a queen and they don't want to talk about politics no <laughs> so it's like an actual like website like, or, like it's, it's page, a fan page or, oh maybe it's kids i don't know it's for kids <laughs> no, my kid, it, this makes me worry about the younger generation yes <laughs> i mean it's so sad be ready of, i mean they're eating tie pods and doing licking yeah. toilet bowls because i guess they're and deodorant <laughs> Okay, I guess this is harmless. No, but it's actually <laughs> uh, it's popular amongst uh, college students. And they say it's therapeutic because you can't talk about politics. You can't talk about human oh. problems. It's just like yeah, you have to think about like it. Okay. It's kind of like just, role playing, but yeah. being a gnat. So is there one for like honeybees and then... Could be. <laughs> There's one for well, murder maybe. hornets. No, I would say oh, that. Murder hornets. Yeah, I'm interested about the honeybee ones because their 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 page is probably in distress right now. They're like the murder hornets are coming. Well, like, they, what do well, we do? Get the, uh, mur the mantis. Yeah. <laughs> get a mantis and they'll eat them. Have you seen the video of the mantis yeah. eating the hornet? Yeah. No the way. Like holding it oh there. yeah. Can Let's we look it. that up? Yeah. I want to see it's that. Right, so okay. Yeah, Jeremy wants us to get pet um, praying mantis because. <laughs> He's like, Ooh, eat a that hornet? will take care of the murder hornets. Yeah, like, just get a bunch of those, and then, but then we need you someone to destroy those. Say hi? Then All right. Uh, he asked where you were earlier. Hey, uh, this will be our break. This this will be the video <laughs> we go to break with, and we'll come right back after this video. Uh, I'm here. Oh, Leo's all over the chat. Hey, very inappropriate, Leo. These are lovely ladies. Nobody will be eating ass. Oh, God. Yeah, Leo, get out of here. And nobody's single. Girl <laughs> chat thingy. <laughs> Women, sisters thingy. All right. For real. This oh, is for ladies. <laughs> Your ladies. Um, I'm Drady Alday on the Surprise Show with the Surprise Sister, uh, Lady Boo, oh. Lala, and Erica. We'll be right back. Are you guys watching? Can she see this? Oh, yeah. Holyfield is very unhappy. Look at this. It looked as if Tyson bared his teeth at one stage in the exchange. Yes, I think he, he bit his ear. That's what Holyfield was in a lot of pain from that. You see the blood on the ear. That was definitely a bite. Well, feelings are running very, very hot indeed in there. Holyfield was outraged by that. Now, what is the referee going to do about that? One point deduction for Tyson. One point deducted from Mike Tyson for biting Holyfield's ear. Now, let's take a look again. Because it's, it's just here. He gets into the position there. Watch. You see, he stares there. There, he bites him there. You see him lift his teeth. And Holyfield in agony at that point, trying to rip free. In a, an awful lot of pain. Well, this is getting like a street fight. It'll take more than that to stop Holyfield going on, but we have all kinds of chaos. Mark Ratner is there, the Nevada commissioner on the far side. We've got the doctor in the ring as well. There was an awful lot of blood there. Looked a really bad injury. <laughs> this is only round three. What next? What's up? That? Is that Jay back there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he says, hey. What you been up to, man? Where, where, where were you at, man? MIA. Um, he said, what, here, you just want to have this no, in no, your no, ear? No, 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 Yo, that video was crazy. I want to see it again. Yo, <laughs> it's disgusting, huh? 
it's it, amazing. It's nice, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm disgusted. I just um. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> What's happening? It's like a wave, just like. Dude, my insurance company would be like, see, Exhibit A, Dre is right here. <laughs> he knew what the fuck he was doing. How many people die a year in this festival, really? in this mosh pit thing? No. You know, if you really look at each individual, they're kind of just kind of shimmying back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Body's in motion. I feel like someone probably got stabbed in that situation. Right, that's true. I would be afraid of that. I'm claustrophobic. Um, I, I, can't, I can't have I'm all these how many people die, like, how many people... I'm not yeah, think anybody's dying. Seriously, right? get injured, like get pushed, trampled through. I think the bigger fall. issue here is how come metal videos are always shot like on VHS. Right. <laughs> I think the big question is, is how many of those kids in that mosh pit are virgins. Oh, that's how they get the stress out. <laughs> because they're like probably just like can't figure out. Yes, you can come together, but you have to have your clothes off. Right. To, to <laughs> <have> the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we're mosh pitting. Let me take my pants off and shirt off. This is a metal commercial. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever fallen in a mosh pit? Fallen? Yeah, no. like, you know. To the pit? <laughs> nice to see metal bringing people together. Oh, so you, <laughs> you guys uh, know about, you know, touching your face, touching stuff, and then it stays on the surface for so long? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever want to know, that, like, because this is an experiment on that exact theory you want to see how it works okay um do you know the date on this recording like when was this made before or after the Mythbusters? i just want to know which one came first i don't know but you want okay. to see. so basically what they did was they sprayed uv paint on this guy's hand and they just told him go ahead eat at a buffet like you normally would but wouldn't he normally wash his hands before eating Pretend like he washed his hands and then they put this on. <laughs> but this wouldn't happen if he would have washed his hands. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the uh, results. Uh, oh, that looks like a bad hotel room. Yeah. Uh, no bueno. Oh, excellent. I like how it's all over their arms. And he's the one guy that has it in his face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he probably like was thinking and was grabbing his chin. <laughs> uh -huh. Or like me, like I'm always biting my skin, my nails or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, this was only half an hour? Dude, at the half hour, it'd be all over my clothes, all over my junk because I keep scratching it. Oh. Did you wash your hands? Could you imagine if this was the lady that was at Ikea? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> For real. I'm just saying. And then <laughs> the person that <laughs> did it after them, no. Uh, <laughs> the guy's like, yo, I, I want to buy that sofa she was on, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? Like, Mythbusters don't buy that did it in 2010. See, there you go. Ew. Was what? Rigged? What? Mm. Ew. What was going on? was that I had a mechanical runny nose. I had a little tube running down the side of my nose, dripping a fluorescing fluid. The goal was to see how far my nasal secretions okay, might have by my cold and who might get to mm -hmm. To give you an idea about how much it spread on me alone, normally my skin would not fluoresce under black light. Are you ready? Oh. Ew. I like that they're comparing him to the guy with the stuff on his face. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. I had to bring this story because I was like, God damn, this is nuts. I know I'm one of these uh, contamination uh, spreaders. What? What? What are you saying? Like, I know I'm like that. Like, I know I like because I just wear face a lot. Wait, one thing is a spreader and one thing is to just get it on you. Yeah, but the, essentially, you're still spreading it around. Over yeah. the weekend, we saw signs of the challenges that may lie ahead. In the Republic of Korea, 
Corea. Corea. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Corea. I know. That's okay. In Wuhan, China, the first cluster of cases since their lockdown was lifted. Was about identified. Taiwan. They don't want to talk about Taiwan. Germany has also reported an increase in cases. Well, that's probably because most stuff is made in Taiwan. <laughs> No, right. Like, no, they asked uh, somebody asked him directly about a Taiwan. Like, it's like, how do you think the response to Taiwan has been? And he's like, oh, I already answered that. China's doing great. <laughs> just, they don't, they don't recognize. Nobody, the China doesn't want nobody to recognize Taiwan as its own as its own country. Oh, poor people. Oh yeah. Sorry, this isn't the ad page. I talk about well, politics. Well, coronavirus won't. It's, just, it's not gonna recognize anybody as anything. Oh, so you ever complained? At, oh yeah. You ever complained at a restaurant? What's that? Like you ever complained at a restaurant? Like argue with somebody? Um, have I argued with somebody in a restaurant? Yeah, like the, like do the you workers? normally send your food back or like? Uh, no. Um, you know. no, I used to wait <laughs> tables. Um. I mean, if I do, it's in the nicest way possible. Mm -hmm. Like, For sure. I, oh gosh, I, I never did anything to anybody's stuff. But like, if I had a rude client or oh, I'm no. sorry, customer, I'd be like, have you ever seen the movie Waiting? <laughs> yeah, no, we've seen it. <laughs> oh, I thought that's like, what you I would, use that as a, I would use that as a reference. So maybe they would treat me a little nicer. Right. Well, not, that, <laughs> that's not, smart. not that I was going to make the cooks do anything. Yeah. So you never thought about throwing a blender at somebody? A blender? Wait, uh, what? In Cincinnati. That's no. a salt. Order the Happy Meal in the drive thru I did have no. to stop the guy from stealing our salt and pepper shakers once. We do that. Oh. That's normal. But she waited 25 minutes. I'm like, minutes. go buy it from the dollar store. You're fine. Oh. Right. Instead of just walking away or calling oh, wow. corporate, Ooh. she threw a bag at oh. the manager. The manager then picked up a blender oh. and then threw it at her face. Oh, my God. Broke her cheek. Oh. Wait, what happened? Jesus. Video end it. Watch it again. Oh, yeah, it's just assault. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A woman ordered a Happy Meal in a drive <laughs> That wasn't a Happy you know, Meal. <laughs> noticed that her order was incorrect, so she went inside. That You know, we do that. That's normal. But she went. She made it 25 minutes. What's happening? And then she got frustrated. Are you doing that? And instead of just I want to see where the blender hits her in the face. Or <laughs> calling corporate. Ooh. She threw a bag at the manager. The manager then picked up a blender and then threw it at her face. Hopefully she learns. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. I don't feel bad for her. <laughs> like, hopefully you learn not to throw your food at people. Like, how, like, what? It's a tough lesson yeah. to learn. And the, man, the manager has had, like, so many people throw food at him. Like, I had it. That's it. Dang. And obviously the manager Maybe fired, she right? Yeah, that sucks for Maybe him. Maybe she got the wrong toy. <laughs> oh, there you go. That would explain it. She's yeah. Got apples instead of French fries. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I didn't want the healthy shit. That's why I came to McDonald's. That would make me mad. <laughs> Milk. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't see the blender hit her, but I mean the pictures. She does fall back, and the pictures show. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, that's a little extreme. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, can I have a Happy Meal? Only at McDonald's. <laughs> and mm -hmm. when? Oh, was this out. in Florida? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Maybe. Talk around, please. No. Do I, look like I got him. I got him. Now look, I'm gonna take you like this. Yeah, I, I don't wanna hear oh, it, right? Get out of here. No that cow. sounds really. Get out. I don't wanna be here with you. I'm crying that you don't wanna be here. Well, let me go. Get your up here in the what? Did you gotta pull me like this? <laughs> right here, boss man. Look at that dog. This is like a bad homeward bound. I'm moving. Yeah. I ain't looking at the <laughs> You know what? Just take the picture. We ain't got no oh time. Oh, my God. Who I mean, do these so pets cute. belong to? This is unreal. You this is, it is real. There's, there's like other it, ones. I got it. No, look. I got Where? it. No, I got it. No. Do I look like I got it. Who else I believes that this, look, these animals belong to like a Karen somewhere? Right? Right? <laughs> she ain't no cow. Like how, uh, how is that cat just like, okay, I'm being dragged by the dog right now. Let me go. Over here in the front. you got to pull me like this? Right here, boss man. Look at that Forget the You heard him move in the middle. I'm moving. I ain't looking at the camera. I ain't looking at the camera. You know what? Just take the picture. We ain't got no time to fight. Everybody dressed up except y'all <laughs> yeah, I, mean, was, I'm never, I can't remember if it was another dog, or, but I know there was uh, two animals, and then one of them was a dog where one, the other one was um, about to fight with, um, I'm assuming it was a cat. It says it was a cat. Okay. I believe it was a cat. 
Um, and was about <laughs> to fight with another cat, but the dog just like, you better not go over there and get, like, it was like it barking was these, at him. These? Not these dogs, oh. but it was lab, like, these are A dubbed over? Oh. Uh, oh. A dubber, like, what, is, what are these No, called? I don't know golden what kind retrievers? of dogs. <laughs> a golden retriever, it was a golden retriever as well, and I was just like, those are so smart. They are, I mean, yeah. they're, like, they're clearly actors though, I right? Mean, yeah, like, I'm pretty yeah. sure they're, yeah, like, they've had to That's do that crazy. stuff many times. That but cat's amazing, because the cat's like, Yeah, like, yeah, I don't understand how the cat's yeah, not, like, over there. <laughs> run away. Who does that? A cat and dog parent. All right. I just got a bunch of videos. Then sang Moses and the children of Ooh. Israel this song. This is kind of scary. Under the Lord. Actually. COVID-19. COVID-19. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought this was filmed in the 80s. He looks so weird. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm watching them for the day to day. That those are his words. Today, we speak to this atmosphere. Today. 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 Oh, oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> he's freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's intense. What the fuck? <laughs> that's not from. Nah, that's probably from me. Oh my god. You are destroyed forever and you will never be back. So what do you think? Girlfriend no girlfriend. <laughs> uh, hostages in a basement. <laughs> yes. Hostages in the best best answer. Yes. With the song atop yeah. the coronavirus one from what's her face? The coronavirus savage. No, oh. I think this was better. This was slaps. What do you think? Bro? I mean, I don't. It's a I catchy song. I haven't heard the other one, but what's interesting about this is that those are his real words. Like they just yeah. put a beat over it, but that that's him. Those are yeah. his. That's his voice. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I must be seeing that. COVID 19. <laughs> I, this should look <laughs> more scary and menacing than when he's just doing the sermon without yeah. the without the music, but um, it's kind of scarier without the music. Like, Why is Grandpa always talking oh, to yeah. me here? Grandpa always looks me dead in the eye. Ask me what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, I think we had enough of that guy. <laughs> All right, sorry. Move on. Yeah, no. Intense. All right. This, oh, I love this. This is oh. hilarious. Uh, <laughs> what, what a, a sister-in-law posted this up, and she said, "This, this, is it her or the, it was a meme?" She she shared. Oh, it was, I think shared. I shared. It was a yeah. sharing. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't her class, but today one of my fourth grade students renamed the, himself reconnecting on our Zoom call and pretended he was having internet issues to avoid participating in our lesson. That is our future. Smart kid. <laughs> yes, that is our future. <laughs> Oh, man. I no. thought maybe it was my nephew. That yeah. sounds like something he'd do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's crazy. I wonder how he got the idea, too. Like, what, what gave him that idea to think that probably was Probably, like, he, he was, like, on something else, and it probably, like, stopped, and he was like, hey, I could probably yeah, do that. Yeah, I could that. probably Let's do say. that. That first comment makes a good point, though. It says that he misspelled reconnecting. Yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he should pay attention to class. <laughs> right. That's uh, like he should be skipping. I, for real, I didn't even notice Aww, that. Poor I'm a kids, too. the shit they have to deal with. Uh, and teachers. <laughs> but it took her a while, though. Senate votes to allow oh, FBI yeah. to look at your web browsing history without a warrant. Uh, several Republicans, I mean, uh, most uh, Democrats and a, and a few Republicans were trying to block this, but it didn't work out. And now it's going into law that they can look at your web his browser history without a warrant. That is some bullshit. It's basically an extension of the yeah. Patri Patriot Act. And um, I don't know if it's a law in there or if they added it, but that's what's going on. 
Mm -mm. How come it's this like was an invasion of privacy? For sure. I don't understand why this wasn't on the news. Yeah, I don't want them to hey, have my Etsy shirt history. By the way, we're going to further snoop on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, they already listen to you if you have an Alexa. Mm -hmm. But like, it, the FBI I mean, or Jeff, Jeff Bezos? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Jeff Bezos, like, has files on everybody. It's like the Hoover what administration. What a creepo. <laughs> like, what a has the special files on everyone. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't like it. I, I wish our senators would fight more for us, but like we talked about earlier, they're being more and more bought by corporations. Mm-hmm. Well, it's about greed, point blank. Yeah. Yep. They're weak. Who can have more? Uh, mm -hmm. We need a restart button. Yeah. And it sucks because we would have had maybe a better chance, but there was the Democratic senators that didn't show up, such as uh, Bernie Sanders and other ones. <laughs> and I wonder if there was drama <laughs> behind that. Like if they drama. didn't show up because they Oh, wanted... Bernie Sanders didn't show up? No, he didn't show up for that vote. Mm -mm. Was I'm... he alive? <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> probably like him and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Right. Probably not. Yeah, no. We got a statement. We got a statement from Bernie Hill. Bernie Hill. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> that was him dying. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> He's resumed his role on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> he went back to acting. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hannah. <laughs> Now, will this, turn, will this turn you ladies on? No, I, I first thought it was virgins. <laughs> Nerds. Wait, again, when is this video from? Why, why is the quality so low? I thought everybody had, like, HD cameras on their phones now. I just like how this food just kicks him in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, is that allowed? Like, <laughs> he's like, move out of here. Is that allowed in sword fighting? You just... Kick someone in the face. <laughs> I don't. I haven't been to many sword fights, so I'm not really <laughs> positive. But I don't think Same. so. Yeah, really. What the fuck was that? Why just, does the screen go red? Like, does he die? Yeah, he's dead. Get out. He says you died. I don't want to like watch a murder combat. video. <laughs> okay, this was weird. You might have saw murder. Sorry. Oh hey, do, you, do you guys want to feel old? Check uh, this out. Sure. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Me. So go ahead and turn on the computer. Okay. Uh, it's been a while. It's gonna go with the big. Since button. you were born, or what do you mean? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Again? Oh, I I have to hold it down. No, wait. What the heck? <laughs> that's the monitor. Nope. Yes, that's the uh, monitor. Good girl. Huh? <sighs> My dad is gonna be so proud of me right now. Right here is the power. Why? Right, because she's Asian. She has a beard. Okay. Oh. I, I was gonna say they have I the one enough. Asian girl get it right. Like that's kind of the noises we've heard. I don't think I've ever heard a computer make these sounds before. Stereotypes are true. Do, 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 I never do, do, heard a computer yep. make this sound before. This is your while. You would usually boot up, then you go get like your snack, and then and then once Just like your a snack is talk about done, snacks. then you come here and it's already done. Okay. Uh, Windows 95. Okay, it's before a little bit before my time. <laughs> I hate it. that kid. <laughs> I hate that kid. It probably was. It's an old dinosaur. <laughs> Okay, 95 oh. kids, calm down. That was okay. only like 20 yeah. years ago. <laughs> but it was 20 years ago. <laughs> it sucks. Worse than we think it is right now. We can get online on this? I'm going to double click. It says Internet Explorer cannot open the internet site. Oh gosh, I think I already broke it. Oh, so I have to set up the internet. Wait, is this dial up? Well, the internet won't work because there's no Wi Fi <laughs> on Windows 95. What? Why is there Internet Explorer? That doesn't make any sense. How do you get on the internet? Oh my so god! Total <laughs> breakdown right there. Well, oh my god! Phone so onto your modem. I, wait, what is a modem? A modem is a device that sends data. To wait, we what? have modems now. Okay, relax. relax. Yeah. yeah. No. And back then, modems had to use phone lines to make that possible. So you would have to use your phone to go on internet. Oh, and isn't that like really loud, like eh, thing? It's scary <laughs> to think that Wi-Fi is like so vital to us now. If you go somewhere and don't have Wi-Fi. Oh like my god, girl, so vital right now. So well, vital. Way, to access the my signal sucks. Like AOL, which we have, so go ahead and open that up. I get a free trial. I see a key, bless <laughs> up, and the world, and then the Illuminati symbol. Illuminati! 
this yeah. is too long. Now, now you're going up to your second oh step. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 now we're initializing again. We're back to step Beyonce. one. Oh, this is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> I would just give up. Yeah, you're right. I don't oh, like that kid either. <laughs> couldn't initialize. This is what's wrong with these children. So they don't have patience. Go ahead and shut right. down the computer. Wait. There's a right way to do this, though. I found it. Goodbye. Yeah, not it's a whole lot has changed. Sounds. It's now safe to turn off your computer, so I have to physically turn it off? It's oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have to physically turn it on, so... Why does that tell me it's safe to turn it off? Like, it wasn't safe before? No, would bitch, it wasn't. Yes, yes your shit would be gone. You would <laughs> ruin your hard drive. <laughs> winning! <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not winning, not winning, but you did. Wow. Celebrate the little victories, kids. Sure. So listen up, little kids, you fucking people. Back in the days, we used to have less than a gigabyte of memory total on our hard drive, as well as 28K modems that would make noises if people pick up the phone and fuck up your download. We had Napster, which was dope. We didn't have to worry about downloading. Uh, yeah. We could download whatever we want. But it would take you all night to download six songs. And then you had to burn those six songs to a CD and then delete those six songs and then download six more songs and hope you got the whole song. <laughs> so don't talk to me about hard yes. times. Hope the whole song downloaded. Piss me off these crazy I, days. I never used Napster. I used LimeWire. I used both. That yeah. was my go-to. No, LimeWire was great, but it would definitely give your computer AIDS. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that's why I can't use my yeah. laptop. <laughs> it was ridiculous how quick like your computer was like on, on the install. It'd be like, uh, click OK for AIDS and then... Click OK and, for and, AIDS. And accept. <laughs> You might yeah. get but LimeWire was great because you could get uh, not only uh, music but videos and software and everything. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Napster, yeah. Napster sucked because you would download a song and if you only download three fourths of a song, guess what? You only had three fourths of that song. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I listen to a song and halfway is like ah, and next song starts. It just ends abruptly. <laughs> For the longest time, you probably thought that's how the song went. You're right. <laughs> that's how the song ended. Uh, I got two more videos. <laughs> So uh, these days, everybody's doing it in quarantine. You've got even to be the bugs. Me. What is that? They're trying to My repopulate the, the world. Broken. Are they bumblebees? Like, oh, yeah. oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they so big? Are they How could I be so lucky? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> this guy is loving She's it. She's just laying oh, there and really. taking it. Yep. <laughs> it's all right, mate. Just sit there real still while oh, the stud bay comes in from behind. Oh, like it's all right. Uh, do you know it's all right? And I Is stuck it to the consent? east. <laughs> I stuck it to the west. I stuck it to the bottom. I be choking. He can't even leave because he's in his car. So he's like, if I open the door, there's I know. <laughs> what if he does open the door? <laughs> This start so it's gonna be like a Me Too movement. For I like know, the right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a Me Too How movement. How does he know? <laughs> yeah, it's a Me Too. <laughs> uh, oh, this is not good. Oh. So you know, I type in stepmom into porn, which is something I do every day. And what? What? I what? what? On the first thing <laughs> I saw. And into porn, she said. You know, I knew Porn two home. seconds in that it was Tracy <gasps> because she's my stepmom. Get out. <laughs> and, and then I thought, well, you know, maybe she's just an actor. Some of these things are not are fake, you know. Oh. Um, but then I saw Stephen, oh. my brother. I knew it was him oh right away. Oh, my God, get we, out. Um, matching <gasps> Ant-Man tattoos on our back from the Paul Rudd movie. This is so real. Get out. And I thought, well, you know, at least it's not the whole family. At least Dad's not there. <laughs> Get out! And then so at least dad's the not door. there. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, well, you know what? Maybe I was out of town. Maybe I was out. Of, I've never been out of town in my life. I've never left this town. Why would but she? I thought maybe I was out of town. Why, why, why would she think she's out and of then, town? And then dad goes, don't worry. Grace is downstairs. She's eating chili. She'll never <gasps> hear a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I and I remember that chili, too. I was... <laughs> This is a joke. She's an actress. Down, honestly, if they could have let me in to have his uh, porn with them. What? I, I love chili, but it's not, the mo it's not more important than family porn. No, this that is, has to be this fake. This is a 
joke. Yeah. This is a oh. joke. <laughs> that ain't the, I, I have never seen a video to the end, and now that I see the very end, it has to be a joke. What is your opinion, Lady Boo? I, this can't be real. She's a really, really good actress. Bravo. Lala, <laughs> real or fake? Yeah, I think she's, it's fake. Erica, real or fake? Oh, fake, because, I mean, who's like, oh, my dad didn't invite me to do the porn. Like, I mean. I love chili. I love <laughs> but chili. It's not but as important. But I want to drop the chili for family porn. Okay. <laughs> First of all, like, why is she typing them stepmom? Well, because, I'm, I mean, on Pornhub, you could watch movies. Like, I mean, they're, they're bootleg or whatever. But Okay, I get it. <laughs> I know what Pornhub oh, is, but why is she? <laughs> in Pornhub, in, in, in a lot of defense, uh, there's a lot of stepmom uh, uh, steps, and that seems to be popular. But why is she it? typing in the what, typing in stepmom on her Pornhub? Like, why yeah. is she interested? Well, I guess we know she wants to be yeah, part like, of it. Why is that her yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't guess, know. I guess we know by the end of the video. She she's did, into family stuff. Oh she did no. say at the beginning that she does this every day or some shit. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, oh. you know, like you do every day, she said. That's how she starts her day? <laughs> yeah. Like, she's like, oh, let me just get on Pornhub and look yep. like up for stepmom. Look for stepmom. <laughs> Poor thing. I, I should have known it was fake from, like, that little beginning like all right straight. this is gonna be our break guy and then when we come back uh we're gonna talk uh crafts yeah, with lala the cocksuckers have to get bailed out again for our tax payer money and then you should have us by not giving us a real break on our mortgages credit card bills or car payments or anything in the government allows us Very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Having to tell the government what to do because they have their heads in their asses. Now follow me. There's something that's been bothering me, so I'm just going to say it now. Dear government, we understand that the virus is not your fault. It happened. It is what it is. I'm not going to get into that idea that maybe you could have acted sooner. We can deal with that when this is all over. But here's the deal. We need a real fucking plan. It was the right move to make everyone stay home because that's the only way to deal with a virus like this. But here's where I have a problem. So... You told us to shut down non-essential businesses. You told us to go home and quarantine. You told us we have to keep social distance and stay inside. But you told us you would help. So where is the fucking help? These checks are what they are. I mean, let's be serious. I'm not going to turn away 1200 bucks because, number one, if you're going to give it to me, I'm taking it. And number two, it's our fucking money, not yours. It's ours. We paid that in taxes for everything we do every fucking day. So, okay, look at the typical family. Mortgage payment, health care payment, car payments, electric, water, garbage, phone, blah, 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 blah. So maybe, maybe the 1200 covers the mortgage. But what about all the other costs that we have each month? This $1,200 thing isn't doing shit for the normal world family you want to help here's one idea tell the fucking banks and mortgage companies to stop all mortgage payments at this time just stop them and don't give me that three-month furlough bullshit how does that even make sense so someone who lost their job because you said to stay at home doesn't pay mortgage for three months but in the fourth month they have to not only pay that month that's due but also the three months they owed in full because it was furloughed how the fuck does that help you greedy cocksuckers someone were just unemployed and not earning money for three months. They weren't earning money. Hello? Now they just start back to work and all that money magically appears so they can pay the three months in a lump sum. How are they fucking paying that? Are you fucking idiots? Look, it almost makes sense that they can start paying the current mortgage due for the month when they go back to work. But they can't pay the prior three months. They had no income. So here's the idea. Just add the three fucking months of the furlough to the back end of the loan. So if they have, let's say, 19 years and six months left in their mortgage, just add the three months. So now they have 19 years and nine months. How fucking hard is that? You'll get your money, you shitbags. It's just delayed. The working stiff wins if you do that. It really helps. It actually helps. And what is up with these banks and lending assholes? I mean, come on. You literally make billions of dollars in profit quarterly. That's every three months. The last crash was 10 years ago. So have, so you have 10 years of massive profits and you need a bailout after two weeks of a shutdown? How come we, the people, have to save for a rainy day, but you save nothing? Every fucking quarter that you made $3 billion in profit. Profit, not income. Profit and all... That means you paid all your salaries and bills and everything you needed to pay to run a company for three fucking months. So every time you made three billion and a quarter, if you had just put one billion in the bank, you'd have 40 billion in the bank after 10 years. That's not even including interest. But no, you greedy cocksuckers have to get bailed out again 
from our taxpayer money and then you shouldn't us by not giving us a real break on our mortgages, credit card bills, or car payments, or anything! And the government allows this. We get fucked. We bail you out, we get fucked. Rinse, lather, repeat. You dirt neck fucking pieces of shit should have had more than enough money to keep paying your workers and give everyone a break in mortgage payments the way I said for the time being. And again, I'm not saying to wipe the slate clean. I'm saying to just add the missing mortgage payment to the back end of everyone's loans. Do it for everything. The car lease is now three months longer. The credit card payment is now three months longer. The mortgage payment is now three months longer. You want to help the American worker, you can eliminate all payments due until this is over. That way, unemployment and stimulus checks would only be needed for food. That is what the American family needs now. That would help us. You greedy cocksuckers and you government lackeys who suck the balls of the big corporations and shit on the people are just as bad. Shame on you all. There could be a real plan in place, a real plan to get people through these next few months, a real plan to be testing, a real plan to allow workers who are considered non-essential to not worry about catching a virus and losing their house. Do you do the right fucking thing, you peckerheads. Having to tell the government what to do because they have their heads in their ranches, that's what fucking ticks me off. Shout out Trey Day all day. Since it's two bucks, can I get a shout out for Super Audio Network too? Sure, shout out Super Audio Network. I don't what know what that? that is. I have no idea. Hey, but there Super you go. Audio Network, shout out. Hey, shout outs to the now defunct B B team. I miss those guys. Mm-hmm. Kevin and the Bean. Kevin, Kevin and the Bean. Oh yeah, remember. Kevin and Bean. I don't even know how you say the name. Oh the show. my God, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin and, and the. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say Kevin in the morning. Who's Bean? Kevin no, and the Bean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Vic, I like Vic. Yeah. Vic, Vic is making a lot of sense. <laughs> yes. First of all, I hope I he's healthy because goddamn, like I felt like he was gonna have yeah. a heart attack and drop dead there. Like goddamn. So oh, hard. he's so intense. Yeah. Sir, I hope you're healthy and I yeah I agree with everything. That's what I was telling um, Bubba, my boyfriend. Um, uh, yesterday, like, why doesn't like the government just pay for everything? There you go. They have the <laughs> money to cover every one of us. At least, like, when it comes to mortgage, rent, mm-hmm. electricity, anything, any bills like that, like, they have the power and the money to take care of all of us. But no, they don't. They're like, nah, just pay us later. We'll we'll give you these months to save up your money, but you just have to pay. Us. No, like, those are no, that's not the government. Though. Those oh, are the bank well, saying you're gonna still gonna pay us. The I government mean, is the one not doing it. Yeah. Government though. Like no, like no, no, well, no, it's actually no. The that, federal reserve no. is different than <laughs> yeah. the government. Yeah, if the banks would just not yeah. even forgive it, just like put it on the back. Exactly, end. exactly. Yeah. Everything that Vic was saying is one hundred percent true. The rent for apartments would have to be forgiven and have to, but because of the rent forgiveness, it would the mortgage would be put on the back end or. Like basically put yeah, but is that is that true? And then also, why isn't there consistency across all the banks? Like every all every bank is like doing their own deal, yeah. but that's <coughs> not fair. And and, and whatever, <laughs> what Vic was saying is right. Like the the power to just add it on the back end doesn't hurt anybody, and it's the mm-hmm. fairest thing to do. And I don't understand why that's not like what we're doing right now. Yeah, and and it it, it does suck because uh, we're legit need that help assistance on the back end uh some people are struggling with that money and they're talking about bringing doing another stimulus check three tr- three trillion is it is the new one I don't yeah know. yeah it's like 3.8 trillion it's like the most in american history is that also but they're basically printing money at this point right it's not gonna have value Right, and like he says, it wouldn't be necessary to be printing all this money if we would just like halt all mortgage and rent payments and let just worry about feeding people. Like that's right. Like what's <laughs> I don't understand what's so irrational or like out there about that or undoable about that. Now, what do you think about the program to deliver everybody uh, who signs up fresh fruits in the mail? Wait, I would need a lot more information about this. The like, government? where are the farmers or <laughs> where are the, the gov- right. companies? The government is yeah, trying to uh, connect local farmers with people by uh, handling or, I don't know, subsidizing these uh, order through the mail uh, vegetable fruit uh, boxes. The government is subsidizing those companies? Yeah, or maybe the subscription for the people. But they want to they wanna expand this service. So you order your, your fruits directly and your vegetables directly from the farmer and you get like oh. monthly boxes through like some sort of subscription base. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, that's cool. I mean, I guess that's not a bad idea. Yeah, people are getting food delivered to their house, so especially the people that are most vulnerable don't have to go out to mm-hmm. the grocery store. They can get it delivered. Or the ones that can't grow their own vegetables or, like, you know, and mm-hmm. fruit, like, at their own home. Like, they don't have a space. Or <clears throat> that's true. A lot of people don't stuff. have space, yeah. so. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, like, we live in an apartment. We yeah. have nowhere to garden. Yeah, yeah. so. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> Uh, but it sucks that Trump is the one getting credit for it. Like always. Whatever. Like just as long surprised. as it's being yeah. done. <laughs> At least it's being done. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, don't really, I don't really care. Either way, it just, I'm just glad it's getting done, yeah, because uh, we, need to cut, we need to cut the supply chain out. A lot of these res- uh, grocery places, they always, like, reject fruit or vegetables because of the look. And, 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 mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. a lot of times when you spend so much money on fruit and, and food, you don't want imperfections. You want it to be perfect. You're like, mm-hmm. fuck, I'm spending that much. I want it to be perfect. Mm-hmm. And that's cool because it's coming straight yeah, from the farms. Mm-hmm. Like, it's fresh as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, farm to table type situation versus, like, all the pesticides and yeah. chemicals. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I like those pesticides and chemicals. They get me high. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> and they give you cancer, so yay, <laughs> yay. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, getting high in cancer, uh, Lala has a craft service, oh, a craft business. Yes. <laughs> I am called Strange Color from Mud, and I make cement and resin items. I don't know which camera am I pointing it at. Yeah, you think sure. right here. Yeah, there you go. Have these cool oh, little oh, trays. Cool. You can use them for anything, for jewelry, and even the rolling trays. So they're made of wood, wood coated with the resin. resin yes. Which one do you want? This one, this one. Oh, that's very cool. Are you on there Etsy you or I'm not any on certain? Etsy, but I do have a Facebook page called Strange Club for Mutt, and I do have a website which. It's on a square, but it's a really long link. <laughs> so I'll just like, I'll have it, I'll send it to Dre so he can put it on below. Um, so you guys can check it out. Nice. But yeah. No. Oh, and then there's that other stuff that's on the other oh, yeah. camera. Oh yeah, these, um, this is a cement skull. Oh, <laughs> the big one is a cement skull. You could use it as a planter. It could be an ashtray. It could be a decor piece. Whatever you like. <laughs> and then the rest are just little like trinket dishes for jewelry or weed. They're made of resin. And <laughs> oh, cement. nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, Indiana hasn't legalized weeds. So. Aw, uh, boo. Not with that <laughs> Still use them for I rings know. and stuff. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> around us is legal. Indiana's oh, no like, yeah. Way. no. Uh, don't worry, I, I'll, I'll be shipping you not weed, but uh, lemons. Lots and lots of lemons. I <laughs> so will like your lemons, I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was, is the reason I wanted her to come on the show is because uh, she made these awesome, uh, what is it, acrylic? Uh, those are resin. Resin. She made these awesome resin ashtrays, and as soon as I seen them, and the uh, sparkle, like, if you can't tell, but this uh, gold right here is, like, sparkly, and it's got a lot of uh, pigmentation uh. and reflection. And then the purple, it, it makes, it blends perfect with the purple, very galaxy-like. And I was like, damn, I know people are going to trip out on these and they're going to love them as soon as uh, I have more guests in the studio because it's happening before yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, they need to be seen in person because it's very hard to get the detail. Exactly. And, and like camera yeah. and stuff. Yeah. They're super cute. Exactly. I mean, they look pretty cool from my end. And I knew people yeah. were going to love them. And I was like, I need more ashtrays anyways because these dumbasses don't know what a fucking ashtray is. I need to have one <laughs> at each spot and be like, put your fucking shit here. Feed them to the skulls. <laughs> um, so, so what made you want to create these? And how, how do you create them? What is it made out um, of exactly? Well, I, the, the skulls, I used a mold. I get them from another artist. Like, he makes the skull molds himself. He creates them the, from scratch. And I buy them from him. And I like it because I went, like, he'll suggest for us to give them him like suggestions on new molds so i have like a little thing going on with him so we have like i'm hopefully oh. have a like, little project going on <laughs> oh. to get a new mold but yeah i mean the idea for the trays was just mostly where you wanted like something with the we theme and i was like oh man i need to get on the bandwagon oh so, wow yeah because so you say that i inspired be- those trays yes you yes did. she she said you yeah, made you those did. trays i just wanted to get it clearly confirmed <laughs> i think i take my royalties <laughs> and then you didn't well, copyright it. <laughs> do that and the skulls well 
The skulls, Those I just really, really like them. I really saw the, the, the molds online, and I was like, hey, man, that would be really, really cool. And so mm -hmm. the guy is always, like, very supportive. He's always just like, whatever you guys decide to do on it, I'm all for it. I'm like, cool. I have a lot of ideas. Do you, do you do any, like, sugar skulls no. type thing? Like Not right painting? Now. Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but just you, heavy you, cement. But, yeah. But, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Because you want the mat made of actual sugar, huh? Eventually, I think I'm gonna try to make the skulls in just resin instead of cement. But right now, like the the mold doesn't take resin at all. It'll overheat it and uh -oh. they'll destroy it. But oh. I found a new way how to make my own molds. So I'll make a casting of that and then make a mold of that and then let's see how all it comes right. out. That's oh, awesome! I'm excited. That's, oh my god! Yeah. That's I have cool. a lot of a lot of cool ideas coming up soon, especially when my roommates move out. I have more space. <laughs> so, for example, the trays, uh, or even the, the more specifically the hemp, uh, the marijuana leaf, was that a mold he had already on standby, or did you ask no, him for that? No, the mold. These I actually bought them from Amazon. <laughs> they were like little ice trays molds, okay. so I was like, "Hey, I can oh, use them for this." Oh, right on! Yeah, yeah. ice trays. They, they look very yeah. intricate, and I, I like the. I, I I figured they were some sort of pre-made yeah. mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't I can't do these on my own. <laughs> like it's too hard, especially if they're these are little made of resin as well. Mm -hmm. And your color so. design, like, what makes you think of the color palette? Like, you have a very interesting uh, color palette. Like I look at a lot of like the um, I guess the environment I'm in, or I look online and like I try to look for col good col color color com combinations. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Let's see how this goes. It might yeah, not yeah. come out good. It might not. It might. And I always, so far they come out pretty good. When I do uh, graphic designs and I do logos or I do uh, titles and stuff, mm -hmm. I always go for the basic, you know, blue and green, purple mm -hmm. and red, you know, the, the, the yeah. go-tos. Mm -hmm. But then you want to try, like, you know what, let me try pink and orange. Yeah. Let me just like, try something weird. Yeah. yeah. It's going to look like a glow worm or yeah. like a, mm -hmm. you know, like the sour worms, mm -hmm. but screw it. It's gonna, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, and with resin, it's, oh, my <laughs> God, it's very unpredictable. You can make a design on it, and then, like, this, this is very simple because I usually just paint it first. But if you add colorant, like this one right here, I had a totally different design for it. And it ended up <laughs> coming out like this. And I was like, oh, man. But I'm like, well, I like it. I like how it came out. So mm -hmm. at the end result, like you can try and manipulate it as much as you want, but it will not come out the same once it dries. It's totally different effects. Mm -hmm. And so the things that you can put in resin is mind-blowing. So <laughs> it's very i love experimenting yeah. as well so that's what mostly where my ideas i saw from. one with uh flowers mm -hmm. not too long ago and like oh, they took real like fresh that. flowers yeah that's on my yeah. next project i'm trying i'm currently drying a bunch of flowers right now <laughs> so <laughs> and you've been doing this for a while this isn't the first set of uh products you brought no, to us uh, what were some of the other earlier par parts like i saw your coffins uh yeah i had a little They're for jewelry, or I usually just like we can put it over there. I don't know. Um, for usually jewelry, a lot of people buy them and they put their weed in there, but I don't recommend them putting their weed <laughs> in there because it's not sealed, so it will yeah. dry pretty fast. But for jewelry or for a little succulent plant, it's like really perfect cute. for it. And yeah, uh, that's really cute. Are those actual gold flakes, or what are those in there? Yeah, well, they're fox gold flakes. <laughs> rose gold flakes. What yeah. in the world are fox rose gold know, like, flakes? What? <laughs> so there's Do real you mean gold faux? Flake. I, yeah. I mean, okay, there's real sorry. gold flakes, which they cost a lot, and then there's these, which they don't really cost a lot. So it's like fake gold <laughs> yeah, flakes. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, no... Oh, well, they look gold. really good. <laughs> gold, gold flakes. That's cool. No, th those are cool. I remember you making those back in the days. And what made you get into arts and craft like that? Like, some people always mess around, tinker stuff, even... Uh, Crafting is my passion. It's like, <laughs> it's the only way I can really get my stress out. Like, it's when I'm bored, I need to create something. When I'm mad, I need to create something. It's just, it's the way of distressing myself and forgetting about the world. Like, you guys just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm creating right now. I put my jam on, just experiment. Like, I love it. I can't. There's many times where I've tried to be like, you know what? This isn't working out. Like, it's... Uh, like, I need to move on to something else. No more crafting. No more wasting my money on, like, craft items and, like, going crazy at Michael's <gasps> and crafting all my <laughs> it's And then I, I did it for a few months, and I was miserable. I, felt, I missed it so Aww. much. Like, 
I'm like, I need to do something. I need to collect little things. I'm like, oh, I could do something oh my cool God. with this. <laughs> like, it's, it's insane. I can get, I can <laughs> talk about the Ferraris, you guys. Like, stop me now. <laughs> uh, I understand completely uh, what you mean. I, I personally, uh, back in the days, was electronics and, like, trying to look mm-hmm. at what the latest electronics, finding out what's out there. Going to, before the internet was intense for me, like, I would go to Fry's Electronics. Mm-hmm. By the way, Fry's Electronics went out of business. Apparently. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I remember. I remember I what the there. fuck? But that mm-hmm. would be my Michaels. I would go mm-hmm. there and buy stuff and use it for a week and return it and buy more stuff. And then... <laughs> keep going because i want to sure that's not how it's supposed to work <laughs> hey but that's what i did i took advantage of the system but uh it's cool to see that you you stuck with it and you and you stay on it yeah. um what made you want to start creating products and selling them then um i think it was just but first i was just creating it for myself and then friends were like hey make me one yeah, like yeah. hey make me this like hey you should sell that so i was like you know what i'm gonna try to make a money out of this eventually i want this to be like a really good business like i want to grow this and eventually like my one craft item if i could choose let's say one thing to just choose i would pick ceramics that's okay. like mm-hmm. my <laughs> everything but i was looking to etsy i mean i sure. tried etsy but uh, etsy has changed so much from it's big, it? I, yeah it's not longer just handmade stuff it's uh things shipped from china pre-made and like oh. a lot of drop ship. yeah and it's like it's just like a, a lot of a long battle going on with a lot of etsy um sellers dropping out of etsy and just making their own website it's so much easier no crazy fees that mm-hmm. etsy charges you it's just insane <laughs> so i'm like i'm getting out of there it was charging me too much money i was wasting more money than making anything <laughs> when i was in etsy so i was just like nah, oh make my own yeah website. i don't blame you then yeah mm-hmm. i mean it's good for some people but i think it's just it's just a waste of money because they don't even advertise it your is stuff. and certain things depending right. on what the what the, our website's doing for you it's not you can do it yourself like for, yeah like you said like for example on wix I'm mm-hmm. able to, to to sell products and even sell tickets yeah. for free as long mm-hmm. as I keep it within a certain parameter. Yeah. I'm able to accomplish this, and I'm sure mm-hmm. it's possible. But these yeah. companies claim to have access mm-hmm. or services that you don't need. Yeah, like they added Etsy added a subscription thing now that you could subscribe to. Mm-hmm. Um, aside from all the like other fees that you have to put on on top, just so that you can be on the top, like one mm-hmm. percent initially. It's mm-hmm. not a scam. Like no. <laughs> like it's a scam yeah they, like they're not is. they're not up for the like they're not they're not i guess they don't have the the handmade people small business backs anymore it's all corporations mm-hmm. big things and it's, nah. oh go figure <laughs> yeah so i'm like it's losing its mojo and it's a good thing that you're able to have your own website though and yeah yeah because yeah, what better control over yeah, your stuff? Yeah, I've tried a, f- a lot of different sites, and I think Square is my favorite right now because I don't have to pay for it a monthly fee. It's free, and I get to post all my stuff, yeah. unlimited pictures without, <coughs> and I'm like, oh, cool, and I just have to pay the regular percent transaction fee, whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. they don't collect any But they're things. never going to charge you then? No. Like, okay, Unless cool. I want, like, a premium, like, a higher yeah. service, but well, I'm like, cool. I don't need it right now. No, 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 no. And yeah. that's cool. I thought Square was, because uh, it's really good service. It's mm-hmm. great, but yes. I thought they give you only trials and, and they charge uh, after a while. No. Mm-hmm. But if they have a free no. service, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they, they offer a lot for the free service, too. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Like, I'm perfect right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, the website I use is Wix, and for the most part, I'm able to do everything for free. Mm-hmm. There's some... Pre- pay services but mm-hmm. you don't have to use them you yeah. get, through, you get by with the and i services. could also use weebly with them because my site is powered by weebly by well it's like the, the oh, thing uh, is weebly. Weebly. It's, it's it's integrated with square so i get to have both i guess and i don't know it works for me <laughs> it's kind of like uh it's you post famous. to instagram but it shows up both on instagram and twitter because oh, yeah. you use a plugin gotcha. uh, yeah. okay. well she posts the one and then it shows mm-hmm. up for both yeah and it probably nice. it, it cuts probably, down a lot of time. It probably too. helps in your inventory too. Yes. Then. Yeah, because you're okay. like, if one goes on one, then the other one goes on the other. Yeah, it helps a lot with that. It's a lot cool. of inventory. Yeah, of definitely post the link in your underneath sure. the video because yes. I'm gonna look at some of your stuff. Yes. And yeah, so far I'm. I have money to burn. <laughs> uh, she got that stimulus nice. money. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just took longer than expected. So far, we had the yeah, host come in and they definitely shot interest and they're like, "Yo, I need to give me one of these ashtrays." And I go, nice. "I know you do, yeah. and you better get at it quick." Do you have any business cards to leave here? No, not right now. Okay. But yeah, we gotta figure out something. Yeah, my thing is in the back. 
right now. But yeah, I'll for sure I'll send, I'll send you the link for it and like so you. And if you need up. any products made, like stickers or anything, let me know and we'll get I'll, you some stuff. For sure. Uh, we got all kinds of shit. We got <laughs> bottle openers. We got hats. We got pins. We got nice. shirts. We got uh, coffee mugs. Two girls, one up. <laughs> Best part of waking up is two girls and one up. <laughs> Lovely. Do yes. uh, you have any questions <laughs> for our guest? Do <laughs> no. you have any questions for your sister? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like no. that, like that. You got into all this. It uh, is really cool. Your, and and what, what, really what future products do you have in mind? Uh, I want to go big. <laughs> big? I want to do big. If you could do anything, uh, what, what would it be? Oh, mm-hmm. man. If I could do anything? Nah. <laughs> what would be it? Would be, would, would, would be like I want to do river. Well, Bobo yeah. really wants me to get into river tables and doing oh, things, okay. big things. I'm yeah, like, like the counter top yeah, tables. Yeah, I'm like, okay, okay, if tables are too high too much right now, but I'm like, I do want to make like big art, like wood mm-hmm. stuff and with resin. And like, I want to try to make. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I've seen those galaxy tables that you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. They, they, I was going to say yeah. what oh, I'm yeah, going to try to make right now. Mm-hmm. I was going to say what I'm going to try to make, but I'm not because probably some person going to take my idea. So I'll, <laughs> I'll try to make it first and then see, like, so let's That's see how it goes. That is true. Top so, secret. Yes. <laughs> But I As my criminal psychology professor used to say, cover your own ass, so don't <laughs> share what you don't want. Yeah, but don't worry, our lawyer's on top of it. He'd probably be like, copyright and super audio network. Don't be kidding. He's always on top of it. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Cool. Uh, the table. And you were saying <laughs> oh, that you yes. didn't want to see your idea mm-hmm. because somebody was stealing it. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I want to go t- um, for bigger projects. I don't. I kind of want to stay away from, like, little things. Maybe not big. Or little more items. I just want to have more bigger inventory. All right, right see. on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll That's see how awesome. it goes. Yeah. Cool. Well, definitely. Who we- knows? You'll end up in a store and like an IKEA or something. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> it's completely possible. I'm, I'm okay. amazed. How? Oh, <laughs> yeah, the beer. Shout out to Preston Brewing, our sponsor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chata Gold. Mm-hmm. If you have a chance, go to Border X, either here in Bell or San Diego. Border X or Chata Gold is awesome. I think they're going to start canning. It might be in store soon. Nice. Uh, he, pretty soon when all this uh, coronavirus is over, he said he's going to put a keg of Raider in here and he's going to make a special keg just for us. Ooh, so nice. we're having our own right Super on. Audio Network IPA. Nice. But what you, Sweet. Y- making weed products is definitely going to sell. I don't know how they yeah. do it so far, but people are into that. Yeah. I definitely, I know I got to get one of these trays now. Uh, nice. I got the two ash trays. Mm-hmm. I need to get the tray. Mm-hmm. Um, I know other people are going to want these ashtrays because they already hit me up on them, but I don't know, really know where to send them to. We're going to have to set a link from mm-hmm. our website straight to your thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, I hope some of your products will come out cool, and then I hope Thank you come you. up with some dope, some dope uh, huge tables because imagine you. this whole thing being a galaxy table. Damn. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> it's a big table. I'll be it's, very excited to work on. It's about <laughs> seven, eight feet tall maybe. Eight feet long, long. I mean. Yeah, um, sorry, AP Tall yes. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on some crazy stone um, chairs. I, I, lo- I love the craft stuff, and me, like, I'm a modder, so I do mod mm. things like the Drake Tendos and stuff, but mm. it's like, I do it for fun. I can never do it as a business. I suck as <laughs> anytime I try to do business, so good luck to you and your business. Thank you. Well, Hopefully thank you for allowing me to mm-hmm. display my stuff here. How is, it, how, how is the reaction, or how is the public uh, feedback been since you've been at the... So far? Like, Swap it's been meets. really good. Mm-hmm. Like, so I'm still trying to find where I guess the right price range, where the right people to sell them to. Because sometimes I'll be, I'll price an item and they'll be like, What? Why are you pricing that? Like, no, let me give you more. And I'm like, <laughs> What? Like, like, it's like you're out, you you're, 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 um, under, um, my name, your work. Yeah, undervaluing your work. And like, you should, like, no, like, here I'm like, and I'm like, Wow, this is cool. <laughs> but then I do have those other clients who are just like, Oh, no, that's too much. Can you, like, lower it? I'm like, No. I'm not gonna, I worked on this. Like, yeah. no, this is my work. I'm not going to lower it. I'm sorry you can't afford it right now. Maybe later on you will. But <laughs> I'm oh move on. I have clients like that with hair, yeah. so I get you. <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine. 
No, for they're sure. like, but no. I could get it this much. I'm like, yeah, and your hair's gonna fall out. Yeah, or they're <laughs> like, oh, I saw it somewhere else like this. I'm like, you saw my item somewhere else like that because all my items are unique. Okay, so yeah, all my items did, are with me. Yeah, I'm like, if you did it good for you, go get it over there. Like it's cheaper. Oh God. Well, from the from the business side or from the buyer side, because I'm I'm a, I'm a professional buyer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand that uh, these buyer. things are they they see more of as a product, yeah. as an IKEA or Target. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's low quality. I'm just saying they no, see it as a, I as a there's yeah. so many of them and it's a duplicate. Yeah. It's like, but to other people who know the mm-hmm. the like for me personally, the like, exact trays, mm-hmm. um, yeah, they might be a product and they might be reproduced or mm-hmm. not reproduced, but like. Produced in a way that yeah. it could be manufactured, mm-hmm. but it's a work of art. Yeah. So for me, like even though I'm not paying for a painting like I did for that one over there, I'm paying for a work of art, and I don't mm-hmm. mind paying the upper price. Mm-hmm. If I was to buy this in any uh, uh, liquor store like the ashtrays, yeah, I'm gonna pay five bucks for them. Yeah. But since I know they're artists yeah. and they're mm-hmm. almost almost one of a kind, I'm willing to pay that upsell. Mm-hmm. They have necklaces. People right. Give me necklaces, yeah. and I'm like, I'm willing to pay that upsell because mm-hmm. I know it's not only a product, but it's also a work of art. Mm-hmm. And in that case, you always have to pay kind of like three times the amount you it costs you to make it because you're paying yeah. for your time, for the materials, materials, and for the work of art. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But that's cool, man. That's I I mean, I know a bunch of people. I'm gonna try to refer to you and your website Thank and all you. that stuff. Boo, any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, any questions for the for the lovely artists? I mean, like, what's your highest quality? Well, what's the most priced item and what's the lowest price? Uh, like, what's your price range? Uh, probably Based from, on your work and, like, how many hours you take to make it. Um, probably my most expensive item will be, like, the 11-inch skulls, which is... Like right that one because it That's takes a lot of time <laughs> um <laughs> yeah and then probably the least one will probably be like the little magnets that i sell it's like like three dollars so it's like three to seventy the most three dollars right to seventy yeah. dollar yeah. range yeah sounds reasonable I w- yeah, <laughs> I, don't yeah. Know, I don't know how small the bowls you can make but like if you get some sort of uv reactive uh, acrylic oh, or uh God. resin <laughs> and it creates earrings. Don't get me started, right? Create right. earrings because what I do is, is I found these uh, small enamel uh, mm-hmm. mushroom, like I use the necklaces, uh-huh. and I make the earrings out of. Mm-hmm. And I basically, yeah, I buy the, the parts and I put it mm-hmm. together and I, I make these mushroom earrings and necklaces mm-hmm. that match that people love and they think it's cool, but uh-huh. I make for like pennies on the dollar. Yeah. You could do the same, but with acrylic pieces, with acrylic mm-hmm. emblems and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And anything with lights, I, I, mm-hmm. I love, obviously. Yeah, it's, so, <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I follow this girl. Her name is um, Mad Resin Woman or something like that. And, <laughs> and intense. I'm sorry, guys. I have fog brain, so I have like a lot of things. I don't remember a lot of names or okay. Stuff. That's so, fine. Yeah, for um, sure. What was I saying? The About f- the bad the resin. Oh, yeah, okay, so, so I follow her a lot because she loves, she does a lot of cool resin stuff. So I get a lot of inspiration from her. Mm-hmm. And she did a video on how to put like lights inside resin, and I was like, what? Hey, I want like street lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. hey, that's pretty cool. I want to try that. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to see her and try to do some cool stuff with Whoa. that. So hopefully it like works out Like put some fairy me. lights in there? Yeah. Yeah. That so. Like some cool. fairy lights? Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so I'm going to experiment that's with exciting. some stuff, so... Oh, cool. I just have a lot of ideas. And I'm, <laughs> I can't I'm, wait. Me personally, I'm always like, oh, it's cool. I can do this, but how do I make the thing that makes the thing that makes the thing? So, yeah. are you uh-huh. have any plans to make any molds? Yes, um, mm-hmm. I'm. I have a, like a lot of little crystals at home that I want to try to make molds of. That I want to make molds mm-hmm. of the skull so I can put resin in them. Mm-hmm. I, oh my god, <laughs> Boba, <laughs> uh, my boyfriend he gave me an idea. I well, I had the idea of making a mold <laughs> of his guitar, wait. maybe. So I'm oh. like, hey, that would be something pretty cool to make. <laughs> like, I don't know, the ideas, there, there, there's so many. Endless. Yeah. And, and in that case, you might think about using L wire or something like that. Like that, what is that, L-Wire? Which is this stuff right here around the microphone. Okay. It's like a glow, it, like, it looks like mm-hmm. a neon glow dark mm-hmm. wire, but you can, we, you can use it on, um, we did it on jackets and stuff. Mm-hmm. It wasn't my idea. I got it from the internet, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. cool. It's cool. That's, Yeah. Uh, that'd be cool too. Yeah. Or fairy lights. No. Yeah. <laughs> fairy lights might I mean, be more durable. <laughs> anything you. Well, I just figured fairy lights with a cosmic like theme like would be pretty like. For sure. That's yeah. Neat. Cool. 
Yeah, I like shiny things. I'm from the '90s. <laughs> no, well, obviously, I like lights and color. We all like shiny yeah. things. <laughs> so, Erica, what, what about you? Uh, have you done anything interesting with hair or any any designs or anything like that, or you just do basic? Um, uh, no, like I've um, I've probably been more experimental with my own hair than a lot of other people because the majority of my clientele is like in the mid 30s to 80. Five to ninety. Hey. Whoa, range. Big range. So, the oldest lady I've ever done was one hundred and three. Whoa, good How for her. It? Yeah. Um, you know, the hair was a little dry, <laughs> but <laughs> everything else was fine. Hey. Uh, Did you moisturize? No, I am actually just growing out my side shave. I used to like shave the side oh, of my right head, on. and then I've had purple and blue and green nice. hair. Um. I don't know, like, I did a little bit of dread work in beauty school. Haven't really had too much of that mm -hmm. outside. <laughs> so that means uh, probably but, Jay has probably has a great haircut then, huh? Because he has a... Um, he wants to grow out a mullet right now. <laughs> and I am just Boy. like, at this point, do what you want. It's your hair. <laughs> I've never been the type of person to say somebody can't do something with their hair. Well, but <laughs> who am I, I know. <laughs> Tell us how you really I feel. <laughs> um, if he wasn't so cute, like I'd probably be like, no. Okay. Hey, but Boo, better be careful because I can grow a mullet. I can't do a mohawk because I have no hair on top of my head. I'm pretty sure you got really close to a mullet once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, my favorite hairstyle for him is when I bleached it out blonde and he had a mohawk. And he oh, had his beard really long. Right on. That's commitment. <laughs> it is. What about Bubba? What's the craziest hair Bubba has had? What's the craziest what? What's haircut. The craziest? Or haircut. Or yeah. Haircut? Yeah. Is he bald? He's, no. no, he's just... He's, he's shaggy. Yeah, like he has his he, But does he have long hair? Oh, well, he, when he grows out his hair, it's uh -huh. just funny because it's just curly as hell and it just, it's just pro. It's just a pro. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. But when, I mean, he hasn't had a crazy haircut. I mean, has he ever dyed his hair? Yes. I mean, oh. he dyed it when he was little. He dyed it blonde and he, now he wants to go back blonde too. What now? Well, like, oh. I want to go blonde. I'm oh like, my God. Oh, Why do you think that is? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, it's the friends he hangs out with. No, oh um, he went blonde when he was younger because he thought that's how he would get chicks. He's like, oh, if I'm blonde, um, because he used to follow NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys, and they had to okay. have okay. Like, oh, oh all the girls are after, after them. See, I was so, thinking like, he was going to, like, follow Eminem or something. Eminem. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Justin no. Timberlake. No, plot twist. <laughs> we were too little. Oh, too little. is he going to get it, like, well, you said his hair is curly, so yeah, well, it's right already going to look like ramen noodles. <laughs> Like Justin yes. Timberlake? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very, it's very spongy. Oh. It's funny. But he doesn't let it grow. So out. he wants it, a noodle cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a noodle. I can see a It's the 2020 a, style. <laughs> I can see him being in a boy band. I can see it. I mean, oh. he already is, sort of. <laughs> like a Jonas, maybe like the Jonas Brothers? No. They didn't have dark no. hair. Sorry. No, they're, they're brunettes. <laughs> no, that's funny, though. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I miss hair. It was fun back in the days. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, one day they'll come through with a pill and I'll be able to grow it back. But till then, oh well. Oh, one day. Uh, isn't there a hair treatment? Like, isn't it? Well, I just I don't, don't care about that. Much <laughs> yeah, that they they, they sound I mean, complicated. A lot. <laughs> yeah, they offer if pills and stuff. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, I was going to say, if you want to actually do a true successful hair treatment, it's like they were, they take the follicles from... Probably if you have chest hair, back hair, wherever. I have ass <laughs> like, hair. I have okay. majority and transplant it. Plenty no of ass way. hair. No yeah, way. Wow. There, yeah, there you go. That's what it is. I mean, you could have, hair. you know, ass hair if you'd like. <laughs> How comparable <laughs> is it when it starts to regrow to your ass hair? <laughs> or does it start to blend in with your hair hair? Because no. it's different. It's curly. It gets very curly. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you can do the fro thing like your sister-in-law's boyfriend. <laughs> just, just go all around fro <laughs> hey, hey, Erica, do you, do you uh, actually listen to Beach Cops and Danny Shalino, or is it just Jeremy? Um, I don't listen to Beach Cops because I 
just don't do the scr- subscription, but I do listen to DNO. DNO is Danny Shin O'Neill, uh, awesome podcast. Uh, I've taken Boo to the live show. We went to the comedy store and watched the live show, and she was like, What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> But I mean, it is pretty outrageous. Where was but, I? Yeah, it's pretty funny too. I still don't know where I was. He kidnapped me that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun. It's a fun podcast. I recommend you guys get on it. Go ahead and subscribe. Check it out. Uh, and if you want to spend a little money, check out Beach Cops. It's awesome. Uh, that's pretty much it for the show. Uh, thank you so much for everybody joining us. Uh, I need to come up with a little intro outro song, but I didn't haven't done it yet, so. Uh, Whatever. Oh, okay. Lady Boo, where can people get a hold of you at? Nowhere. Nowhere? Just stay home, people. Oh, haters. <laughs> uh, Lala, where can people get a hold of you at? Or more importantly, where yes. can they buy your gear at? They can buy it at... Uh, see, I'll, I'll put you the link because it's a really long link. It's not... I don't even have an official, like, <laughs> okay, name. Okay, what about, like, like, Instagram or Facebook? Okay, well, Facebook. on Instagram, you can find me at Strange Colorful Mud. But it's Strange underscore... Color four underscore mud because strange color four mud was taken. Oh yeah, I was like, but someone else. So I was like, rude. All right. And on Facebook, yeah. you can check me out at strange color four mud. So there you it's go. just strange and color four mud, just like that. <laughs> Uh, no nice. underscores, yeah. If we can't fix the link problem, then we'll link it from uh, Super Audio website. So you check it out when we go live. Uh, Erica, where can Do people it. get hold of you at? If you want them to get hold of you at. Um. Let's see on Instagram, uh, Eclectic Soul eighty five, or Erica Baker on Facebook. I'm like pretty much. I'm very vanilla. My <laughs> DNA test. I'm actually 03 percent Sub Saharan African. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we we we, we, what? Missed, we missed that conversation. For real. <laughs> I know. Listen, I did the twenty three in me, and I was like, oh, it's gonna come back Irish and German because that's what I've always been told. And then lo and behold. I was like, sub Saharan African. I was like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. I'll march cool. with my people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, Nate. That's for the next time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Uh, I'm Dre Day All Day. Thanks Catch for having you. me. No problem. Thank uh, thanks for, for joining us. For I'm Dre sure. All Day. We catch me at www.superbrightnetwork.com. We catch past episodes. You can catch merchandise. We got new uh, hats. We got. Um, coffee mugs, the two girls went up. Coffee mugs and don't <laughs> don't do drugs. But coffee mug coming soon. Uh, go ahead and buy yourself some gear and support the network. Uh, you can also buy tickets to the next unopen, unopen mic as soon as we stage three is announced. That's when we're gonna go forward with our next unopen mic, which will be soon. Someone mentioned Danish and O'Neill. Hell oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, I apparently forgot to mention that I'm married to Howard Moon. Sorry. Of course he is. Come on, why would you do that? <laughs> Sorry. That's your claim to fame, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's my that's my goals in life. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. <laughs> I did. Hey, I can't top that. With that said, thank you to all uh, the lovely ladies for joining me, Lady Boo, Shit, Lala, really and Eric. Go on here. I was because I've been watching you over here. Bye. <laughs> And Bye. Sa- Bye. Sa- Bye. Same way I like the interview show is. Still waiting on that heifer, Julio. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Bye, guys. And fuck you. I'm out.